Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a viewer question. All right, so we had a viewer question. Actually, we had two viewer questions and I really wanted to find the answers. And so uh, it was funny, in looking up the answers, I found out the answer was the same to both questions. Uh, two questions from two different viewers, both asked on different videos and then the answer was the same answer. You wanna know what it is? First question was on the Republic number two deck. Uh, these came out a while back on Illusionist. It's a very beautiful deck, very simple deck. Uh, this viewer asked how thick this deck was. And so taking out my caliper and measuring a stack of 10 cards, that's what I use as my staple, that's what I use as my measurement. I measure 10 cards with a caliper to get an idea of how thick these cards are and how these cards compare to other cards. So 10 cards came out to 2.91 millimeters. So 2.91 millimeters aren't exactly casino cards, okay? They're not casino thickness. Uh, they're, they're, they're a little under, but they're close. Casinos are usually 3.0 and above, but 2.91 is close. Uh, so these are going to feel and handle the same as the Shin Lim deck, or the Saturns, or the Split Spades, or even the Smoke and Mirrors version 2. All right, so that was Republic 02. Second question, second question. Another viewer on another video asked how thick the Richard Turner Gold Edition decks are. All right, so if you don't know about the Richard Turner decks, uh, they're a classic deck of red 808 rider backs, okay? But the twist is they're on a thicker stock, so they're gonna last you longer, and they're traditionally cut. And you get two full-size jokers, uh, and just uh, it's just, a, I think, a way better quality deck of, of cards for Magic. And so if you're gonna do Magic, I say get the Richard Turner Gold Edition. They're not expensive, and they're gonna look like a standard deck of cards, but they're built with you in mind. That said, this reader asked, well, how thick are they? How thick are 10 cards of the Richard Turners. Now, here's the interesting part. Uh, you'd think that since they're supposed to be printed on casino grade stock, they would be a little thicker, but in fact, they were the same exact measurement, 2.91. Same as the Republics from the Shin Limbs, the Saturn Split Spades, and Smoke and Mirrors 2, all right? So they're the same as that. Here's the other uh, thing to consider, though, when talking about the thickness of this deck. This deck, this deck is not a limited run. See, most of the time when I measure decks, they're limited run, which means uh, USPCC printed them one time and they're never gonna print them again. So when I tell you how thick they are, that is a good standard of measurement because my deck will probably be the same thickness as yours. However, this deck, the gold standards, are an unlimited run, meaning that USPCC will reprint these every single time they run out. In fact, Richard Turner has a lifetime supply of these in his house. So that means that when I measure this deck, it might not be the same thickness as yours. So you might end up with a deck that probably is closer to a casino grade thickness, mine wasn't. So that's just how USPCC uh, prints their cards. They're, it's not an exact science, you know, they're just pressing paper and you're getting uh, the, the weight of the rollers at that time in history and you know it's it's luck of the draw whether yours are the same as mine or not but at least there is the answer you want the difference between the republic o2s and the gold standards from richard turner identical they will feel identical the only difference is this one's traditionally cut this one's not but they're going to have the same q1 quality controls for the most part they're going to feel and handle exactly the same all right so that is my answer to my viewer question. I hope it answered maybe even some of your questions and I'll talk to you later, bye.